the bearded dragon lives up to its name. Like a dragon, it's equipped with armor of spiny reptilian scales, which include a beard of spikes under its chin that puffs up depending on its mood. While they're widely known as bearded dragons, they do not actually have beards. At least not in the human sense. If you get a close look, you won't find facial hair or anything of the sort. However, they do have scales around their neck, which is their own version of beards. Bearded dragons have the rare talent of sleeping upright thanks to their natural ability to lock their hind legs and hold themselves upright. They often do this when they have to sleep between rocks, in which case, they would just lock their hind legs, lean against something, and sleep away. Among the most popular pet reptiles, bearded dragons tend to be gentle, inquisitive, and active during the day. Due to their friendly demeanor, permanent smiles, and idle nature, they're also quite commonly kept as pets around the world. The central bearded dragon, Pagona viticeps, is the most common species to have as a pet. It sounds crazy, but a bearded dragon is the easiest lizard to train to walk on a leash. It makes for great stimulation for them, plus the looks you'll get on your walks are always worth it. In the wild, bearded dragons' range extends across most of Australia. They typically prefer to stick to warm, arid areas, deserts, subtropical woodlands, savannas, and scrublands. A warm habitat is crucial for bearded dragons. They're cold-blooded and rely on external heat sources to raise their body temperature, which varies according to the temperature of their environment. They bask in the sun to warm themselves and can burrow underground to avoid extreme heat and predators. They're semi-arboreal and often can be found on fence posts and tree branches. The ability to regenerate teeth is a quality shared by many reptiles. Bearded dragons are unique, though, in that they have both polyphyodent and monophyodent teeth, even on the same jawline. The dragons use a similar biological process to what sharks and geckos use to regrow their polyphyodent front teeth over time. If the monophyodent chompers fall out, they're gone for good. With their strong jaws, they can clench and crush hard-shelled insects like beetles. They'll occasionally lose their front teeth when trying to catch prey or tear apart food, so it isn't anything to be concerned about. One of the oddest characteristics of the bearded dragon is the way it urinates. They do not urinate liquid, so there's no chance they would pee on you while you're playing with them if you own them as a pet. Their urine comes out as a powdery substance known as the uric acid alongside other waste. Scientists say they do not urinate liquid because they're originally from deserts and their body conserves every drop of liquid. That makes sense, right? Known for being territorial, adult bearded dragons may display their aggression to defend their turf from other males, fight for food, or compete for a female. Some males may also attack females if they don't show submissive behavior. The beard, which both males and females have, is an important way the lizards communicate. When threatened, a bearded dragon will open its mouth, raise its chin, and puff out its beard to make itself appear bigger. Bearded dragons also communicate by changing the color of their beards and bobbing their heads. A quick head bob may signal dominance, whereas a slow bob at an arm wave is a sign of submission. With the change of seasons, some bearded dragons may go through brumation, a type of hibernation, in which they stop eating and only drink water sporadically. This dormant phase usually occurs in the fall or winter as the light changes and temperatures drop. To catch the attention of a female, a male bearded dragon embarks on a showy ritual of courtship pounding his feet into the ground and waving his arms and bobbing his head.